gives me great pleasure to congratulate Canada on its 150th anniversary of Confederation. Canada and the Netherlands share a long history. It may not go back 150 years, but we celebrated 75 years of diplomatic relations some two years ago. Canada and the Netherlands share many common values and we share the ambition to create a rule-based international environment. Being Dutch ambassador in Canada is a great pleasure indeed. From the very moment that I arrived, I felt welcome. People of Dutch descent are a great part of the community and they contribute and have contributed to the development of the country of Canada as it is now 150 years after Confederation. So as chair of the trade committee, we, we are very happy that uh, Holland was a, a proponent in the European trade agreement. It's going to be huge for both of us back and forth, both countries. Um, we look forward to buying Dutch peppers and we hope to, you know, Holland buys our, our great beef. I guess it's the, the rights of an individual that, that, that's big. And the other thing is the combined effort to put their shoulder to something. I just admire the way they farm and, and how, you know, they grow things and, and they specialize in that. But so the agriculture always tweaks me quite a bit when I go there. Of, of they're very progressive, you know. And, uh, and I find that, that that the biggest thing that Holland can contribute now to the world is the whole technology about environment and um, protection. Um, we see how they protect themselves from the sea. Um, United States and other countries have to get ready for this. It's happening, and I think Holland's going to be playing a huge role environment and and how to deal with the sea as the sea levels are rising At the end of the day though like uh, what I how do I put it I find Canada and Holland sometimes they're making the snowballs and the big guys are throwing them right so I, I just find that we have a we have a special niche niche as as being Dutch or being Canadians in the world right now when the world needs us the most and I think we both are very well respected in the world when the Dutch and the Canadians are sitting at these multilateral functions or organizations, people listen, which is pretty special. Yeah, the trade relationship uh, between Canada and Holland is very important. and Holland is one of the top three investors uh, in Canada. Uh, our top is market leader in the Netherlands, and at the time we were looking to expand internationally. And there were two main reasons to go for, for Canada. And the first reason was uh, the economic uh, circumstances. Mm -hmm. Canada is a strong and, and large economy, and it ranks very high in the, in the market uh, uh, potential index. And the second reason was that the cultures of Canada and, uh, and, and the Netherlands are quite similar. And it's so much easier doing business in, uh, in a culture that's comparable to, to your own. We have a Dutch heritage. Uh, the windmill is an international symbol of sustainability. Uh, we are a development company that, that uh, prides ourselves in being one of the most sustainable developers on the planet. Uh, so the combination of our Dutch heritage and the symbol of the windmill uh, made, it, made it a lot of sense for us to call our company Windmill Developments. My brother and I started the company about 15 years ago, but both of us have been environmentalists all our lives. And when you see nature here and you travel around the planet, and you see what's happened to nature in many places of the world, uh, you can't help but say we've got to preserve it as much as possible. So sustainable urban living is a key part of making sure that uh, we maintain as much natural environment as possible. And the key lessons that we took from Holland was um, the, if, if in Amsterdam and surrounding areas, uh, a car, you can get into town with a car, but you don't feel welcome there. It's very difficult to drive through those cities. However, your bicycle, you're the king of the road. Uh, similarly, a pedestrian really rules the road. So our streetscape here, unlike most Canadian streetscapes, will look like a downtown European streetscape. Uh, we're even calling them Wernerfs, which I understand is a European word. Uh, we, we wanted to look at where are some of the most sustainable urban environments on the planet. Uh, we actually went to Europe, went to visit Rotterdam, went to visit Amsterdam, uh, along with a number of other cities, and looked at a number of communities uh, in Holland and others. And the Dutch uh, are incredible incredibly resourceful, living in very small amounts of land with very few resources and yet have huge productivity. Uh, so a lot of good lessons learned from those, uh, those visits. Well, ten years ago, 
I was a regular customer here because I love all the Dutch stuff they sold here and the former owner wanted to retire and he couldn't find anybody to take over and that took about two years and after two years trying he still didn't find anybody and he told me one day I'm just gonna close the door behind me and there's no more Dutch store so I drove home and told my husband we better buy that store because I need my Dutch stuff Dutch cheese is, as we all know, famous and um, so we sell a lot, a lot of cheese. Not only to Dutch people, a lot of Canadian people come for our cheese. Then of course there's the Dutch licorice that you cannot find anywhere in Canada and you have to acquire a taste for it, but it's the Dutch people that are really, really looking for the real Dutch licorice. The Dutch community is big here, like Ottawa and just outside Ottawa, it's about 9,000 people. The people that we have as a customer uh, came here right after the war so, and it was hard work um, raising kids learning a new language try to find getting settled in Canada and a lot of them did extremely well they were not they never had the opportunity in the first 10 or 15 or 20 years to ever go back to Holland but they had their Dutch store they could go to to get their Dutch products to speak Dutch to the people here we have customers here that almost consider this a social gathering place. So this is more than just a store where you get your stuff. My writing is Chatham Ken Leamington. It's the largest collection of greenhouses in North America. Now, pales in comparison with what I witness in Holland. I think Holland has 10 times the, um, the amount of greenhouses that, that we have. Uh, nevertheless, because it's a cluster, when you, when you have a cluster of, of industry, innovation starts to spawn. Now that innovation has already happened in, in the Netherlands and they've done a, an incredible job with, with the, the greenhouse industry. Because I'm seeing a lot of people that, that really are moving forward and I can see the day where what has happened in the Netherlands can start to happen in southwestern Ontario too and expand. I'm a staunch conservative. However, I admire their their ability to, to work together. And when you think about the history of the Dutch and you think about just the landscape itself, there, there had to be that cooperation. Uh, there, there was very little room for independent thinking when it came, for instance, to how we are going to manage the water system. Well, yeah, my parents were both uh, from the Netherlands. They immigrated in 1953. I was born in 1955. My father is from Voorburg, my mother is from Norwijk. And there were quite a number of Dutch immigrants that had gone to Canada and there were many people that said uh, it was a good place to go and so they, they suggested to, uh, to make the trip. There is a, a, a unique friendship between the Dutch and the Canadians. Of course that stems from what happened in the Second World War, the liberation of Holland. But we share a lot of values as well too. There's, there's many things that uh, are very common in, in our Dutch culture that are also common in our Canadian culture. The predominant culture is, is, is Dutch in our family and, and, uh, and we, we thoroughly enjoy it. Well, a lot of the chabakis, the, the, the spekelas, all those, the soup and, and all those uh, old Dutch traditions, the kids recognize those and appreciate them. And... Uh, Canadians are really open and super friendly. Um, they very often say sorry uh, on many occasions. Uh, and they are um, very open to Dutch culture, I think. It's very often that uh, when you walk into a meeting, you, um, you meet people that are from, from Dutch descent or their parents or their grandparents are. So that's always a very nice way to, um, to start a relationship. And Canadians are real diplomats. And um, I think we, as Dutch people in particular, have a hard time understanding what they are saying between the lines. And so we really have to take, uh, take uh, care and, and, and pay attention to that. Um, so that's definitely one of the one of the struggles that we have to come, overcome. I think the Dutch Canadian trade relationship is already um, strong, very strong. Um, I think the Netherlands is one of the uh, top three investors in Canada, and Canada is uh, currently looking into more diversifying its export countries. It's uh, it's um, looking to uh, to be less dependent on uh, on on one big country. Um, so there is absolutely an opportunity there for for Dutch uh, Dutch firms. 
I moved to Canada for work and mostly for love. Uh, I met my husband while working in Italy for an international organization. And after um, a while, he convinced me to trade in Rome for Canada. He bought me Canada Goose to survive the Canadian winter, and so I went. Uh, I already noticed while communicating with my husband that it was very easy to, easy to relate to Canadians, but uh, also in work and uh, while living here, it's easy to blend in, even with your Dutch manners that maybe are not really the same as Canadians. And uh, my strange accent, people uh, really accept differences and uh, so it was very easy to feel at home. A couple of times a year I visit the Netherlands and it's great to be back home but I always uh, am also happy to come back home to Canada um, and uh, I really feel proud now when I see the Canadian flag and just to be part of this society as well.